Okay, you're back with the Passion Fruit Walrus. Okay. Well, it was. But, uh, it's not important right now. Okay. Um, let's just have a little quick uh, scout around uh, this bit. We're basically on an island in a lava sea, and uh, we need to get our air force up and running. We don't really need mutilisks, but we do need uh, overlords to be able to transport troops for this uh, this level. And we'll be getting a lot of enemies that are dropping in on this area, like this for example, and uh, are not, and uh, attacking us. So we have to defend this position while we build up our uh, abilities forces and so on. Can't do anything else yet. I've got no buildings apart from the hatchery. Okay. Just um, keep producing uh, drones for a uh, little bit until we've got uh, these resources coming in and, and so on and do the usual thing. I can actually uh, send some parasites out on um, on passing dropships and such like, which should be handy. Right then, do we see any dropships around? There's one. Right, so parasite the fucker. And I might just put a parasite on that little uh, creature there. So I can uh, see what's happening there. You can come back. Okie dokie there. So I think I need a spalling pool and such like up pretty soon. But we do need more um, more drones as well. So, uh, how are we doing? Right, what have we got? We've got nine. There's another three on that. Another two on that, and two on the gas. Okie dokie, you can go over there a bit. Just do a wee bit of scouting. Don't go into a bunch of anti-air defences, if at all possible, because that would be annoying. Right, so you can come down here instead. Right, now then, is that... Right, I think I still need another one. Or do I? Mm, yes, okay, good. So one for that. Then I think I'll get a spawning pool up. And I should also get uh, another hatchery built. So I might just do that now. In fact, no, up here. Because even though it would be handy to have it near the other high uh, hatchery, um, we need them. Bugger. Uh, yeah, it's better up by there. Right then, we still got 12 of these guys. Yes we do, excellent. So that's enough for the, uh, the gas. So I just need another one after that for the, uh, the spawning pool. Let's 
just have a peek down here. Whoops. Don't shoot at me, you bastards. Okay, there's another one. We can stick a parasite on him too. And as you can see, the uh, the dropships are sort of opening up the map a bit and showing where everything is, which is handy. Uh, right. Chrysalis hasn't taken any damage yet, so that's good. spawning pool there and we'll send him up there and then he can become a hydralist den as soon as the spawning pool's made and this little chappy here can become an evolution chamber and let's get another bloody overlord while we're at it okay good Chamber. Uh, let's pop him right here. So we can start producing a few drones here to uh, to mine that bit of uh, minerals. Good. So, uh, oh no, I can't do that yet. Great. Okay, well, get a few upgrades going on then. Get that upgraded, and get a bunch of zerglings then if uh, we can't get anything else for now. No, we don't. Right, and, um, yeah, see if we can get another one so we can have our uh, squad of 12 zerglings. Where am I? Yeah, it was under attack, but it's now not. Not in it. Oh crap! Okay. Okay. Uh, let's move them down. A bit more of a proper assault coming on now. They were under attack, yes, but they're not anymore. Okay, let's just check there's no one else lurking around here. Okay, good. Right, back to the base. Alright, uh, keep pumping out the hydralisks, and I want to increase their range for a start, I think. Well, good. Evolution is always good. Well, usually. I suppose if you could turn a T-Rex into a chicken, that doesn't look too good, but uh, anyway. Not planning on doing. Three, two, one. Arise, my daughter. Arise, Kerrigan. By your will, father, I live to serve. Let all who oppose the Overmind feel the wrath of the Swarm. Well done, Cerebrate. What I have wrought this day shall be the undoing of my enemies. Let not a Terran survive. Mother of God. Kerrigan, what have they done to you? Okay. 
So we can go sort of straight over to Reyna's command centre. I usually go down here first, though. Um, and uh, the lovely Miss Carrigan has become the Queen of Blades. Oh, I'm going to do her dialogue. What is it now? <sighs> yes. <sighs> you begin to annoy me, servant. <laughs> but don't think that I need you. Should you become a nuisance? I'll kill you myself. What is it now? There we go. It's not the funnest of uh, dialogues, but uh, that's what she's got. Right, and I need to get my overlords up for transporting as soon as possible. You guys can fuck right on. Okay, so there we go. I also want to set up a secondary base here to harvest these resources. I normally take this area and then work my way up, but I'm not sure. I might just go straight for Reyna's base, really. It's probably fairly doable. I don't normally do that, but I might give it a go. So yeah, why not? It speeds things up a little bit. Okay, I gotta wait. Gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. Okay. Right, I've got ten there. So I can have me a squad of them now. But only a squad so far. Right, okay, you guys go over here. What else do I want? Thanks. More hydralisks, of course. Do I? Oh, good. It's not depleted yet. It's just be really slow on uh, mining it by the look of it. Right, so let's send three of them there so we can transport them if we want to. And, uh, de -de -de -de. right. Yes, I think once we've got the transporting thing up, we'll send these two over here to do the, uh, to set up the secondary base, and then we'll start moving some troops over to support them. Uh, just pop her where the, uh, the troops are, I think, for the moment. Generally, I don't really send her into battle because it's just sort of risky because you just instantly lose the game if you, uh, well, lose the mission anyway if you um, get her killed, so best not to. Uh, which one's complete? Oh good, that's complete. Right. In that case, I'll be having you guys. Come on. Come on. And uh, they can go in there just to back them up in case there's anybody lurking around here. That's going to take a little while to get them over there, but uh, never mind. downside to, well, it's sort of good in some ways being on an island, because it does mean there's there's a limited amount of ways that you can be attacked, you know, you, you, you will always be attacked from the air, and you sort of know that, so that's handy in a way. But as well, it is um, a bit of a nuisance, because you have to get your transporting sorted out before you can move, and yeah. Send two squads of Zergians up and just. Mm, actually, maybe I won't. 
I was thinking I might just launch a, a quick little attack here and just sort of see what happens, but maybe I'll wait until we've got a bit more to actually use. Come oh, on, you slow bastard! Fast movement. The sooner the bloody better. Right, there we go. You get yourself kitted up there. Right, good. So that's set up. I don't think we can have Nidus canals in this uh, on this level, which is a shame, really, because they are rather handy for isolated bases. Create a sort of instant link between uh, the sort of head and the tail of the uh, the colony. No, we don't. Right. Um, okay. So, despite it being somewhat risky, I think I am going to launch an attack on his uh, position pretty much straight away. He being Raynor, of course. Uh, right, let's put the Queen the high up. Oh, it's with the bloody minerals. Right. Is it the bloody minerals or the bloody overlords or something? Now. Right, so we're going to move this slot up here. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Right, okay. So, we want these guys to go there, but first we want to drop the slot in. more. It looks like I've got uh, more troops than overlords to uh, to handle them, so I'm going to need to re uh, build some more overlords. Surprising how well this is going. I would have expected to die pretty much straight away, but uh... right. Uh, if I'm going to infest his command centre, I'm going to need a queen. Send her up there. Right. Carry on, guys. This is going ridiculously <laughs> easily. <laughs> Well, as it were, so far. Um, right. Let's pump out some more loops before I uh, run out of things. Right. Some detectors up. Uh, they're bringing in reinforcements from the bases down there, but they're not bringing them in fast enough. Right, so basically when a, a base is nearly destroyed, you can uh, infest it with a queen. Like that, for example. And I win! To 
an extent. I'm far more than I once was, Jim. You shouldn't have come. Dreams. I dreamed you were still alive, that somehow you were calling to me. I was. While I was in the chrysalis, I instinctively reached out to you and Arcturus telepathically. Apparently, Arcturus sent Duke here to reclaim me. But that was then, Jim. I'm one of the Zerg now, and I like what I am. You can't imagine how this feels. So, what? Are you gonna kill me now, darling? That is certainly within my power. But you're not a threat to me, Jim. Be smart. Leave here now, and never seek to confront the Zerg again. Doesn't look like I have much choice. It's kind of a sort of tragic love story between the two of them, really, because they sort of sounds like they're getting close in the uh, the Terran campaign, and then she uh, she gets left behind by Mengsk and uh, ends up becoming the Queen of Blades. Kerrigan, the newest and most powerful agent of the Overmind, has arisen from her embryonic chrysalis, but her formidable powers are still not fully functional. Kerrigan must now seek to unravel the ghost conditioning that keeps her powers in check. Once done, she will lead the Overmind's minions to complete domination over the unsuspecting Protoss. The Amerigo, primary hive cluster, Planet Char. Cerebrate, you watched over me during my incubation, and I am grateful to you. It is my wish that you continue your vigil, so that I might strengthen my powers to better aid the Swarm. I have been unable to access the totality of my latent powers, and as such, I would like to infiltrate a Terran science vessel and uncover the secrets of their abandoned ghost projects. If I can learn more about their mental conditioning, I can undo the damage their tinkering scientists have done to my mind. Though you be the favored servant of the Overmind, you would do well to remember that you are just a servant. You know of our grand mission, Kerrigan. Would you put your personal whims before the will of the Overmind? Do not cross me, Zalas. I will do as I see fit, and not you or any other Cerebrate shall stand in my way. Let her go, Zaz. The greatness of her spirit has been left to her, that the swarms might benefit from her fierce example. Fear not her designs, for she is bound to me as intimately as any cerebrate. Truly no sir can stray from my will, for all that you are lies wholly within me. Kerrigan is free to do as she desires. By your will, Overmind. Cerebrate, you must see that she comes to no harm. I'll do my best. Cerebrate, take these, the deadliest of my minions. They shall aid you in your search. Righto. Okay, so I think we'll leave it there, so thank you for watching, and bye-bye for now.